Okay, it's on. Although I'm not sure exactly what you want me to say. And you know, you get used to it after a while. It's it's not easy, but you get used to it. At first I got scared. Then I got pissed off. Oh, guys, is that right to say? Because, I mean, I did really pissed off. It's good to get that out. It's, it's hard to keep all this inside. And nobody really wants you to hear you talk about it. Not even the doctors. They shove a thermometer in your mouth or a stethoscope in their ear. And You get used to it, I guess. People just don't want to let go, do they? They think it's a mistake. They think all of this is supposed to last forever. I'll never understand that, my God. It's the one thing in the world you can be sure of. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, no matter anything, Sooner or later, you're going to die. And that's a relief if you think about it. Well, if you think clearly about it. The thing is, most of us spend our entire lives trying to forget we're going to die. And some of us even succeed. It's like, um, it's like pulling the cart without the horse. <laughs> There's that poor analogy. I, you get the gist of it. I'm afraid I've lost my touch with words. They just don't add up as neatly as they used to. Of course, I'm still writing with great abandon. I may have lost touch with my words, but I still believe in them. Eventually, they have to mean something, give or take a few thousand monkeys, a few thousand typewriters. I'm not particular. <laughs> my former wife once said, haven't we done enough thinking and talking? Couldn't we just dance for a few years? Of course, I couldn't. I have lousy feet. Instead, I went on about music and mathematics and the difference between Apollonian heirs and Dionysian rites and explained to her the history of the dance and the struggle with form. And Before I finished the first paragraph, she was gone. Like a bat out of hell. Of course, I understand it now, but then I didn't. I became totally irrational, idiotic in the Greek sense of the word. I hated her, I blamed her, I damned her. I missed her. And I began to get so worked up about it, I began to understand what it was she was talking about. I'd lost the, the, the energy of it, the magic, the fun. After all, the earth isn't a syllogism, it's a miracle, isn't it? If you can understand any one part of it, then you can understand all of it. If you can understand all of it, well, then, then that is reason for dancing, isn't it? I think it's important to keep rational, even about the miraculous. Otherwise, you lose track of what it's all about. Even... All of this, this, this pain, this, this discomfort, it's all part of living. And I am still alive, and I will be alive right up to the last second. See, that's the hard part, that, that last fraction of a second and you know that in the next fraction of a second, that's the part I can't fit into my life. You're absolutely alone, facing an absolute unknown. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it, except give in. Ah, <laughs> oh God, how long have I been babbling? I know you say no time problems, but some of us are on a tighter schedule.
<laughs> see, see, you mustn't take all this too seriously. I don't. Our dreams are beautiful, our fate is sad, but day by day it's generally pretty funny. We can do this again tomorrow if you like, I don't mind. It's just that, it's just, no matter what they tell you, you always think you have more time. And you don't. But I do appreciate what you're trying to do here, and I enjoy being a guinea pig. So, so tomorrow, then, if I'm still breathing, <laughs> or even if not, I doubt if that's going to stop me from talking.